Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get instant notification of new videos as they're released. So it's the FA Cup third round, and this is where the big guys enter the competition. The FA Cup is a grassroots contest that goes from the lowest level of the league. They knock each other out until they get into the uh, first and second round where they meet traditional league teams. And then they get to the third round, which is where the Premier League teams come into play. And this is where shocks are often generated. I, I sort of say shocks because very often it's not a shock that teams get eliminated from the earlier rounds of the FA Cup. Over many years now, the relevance of the FA Cup has gone into quite a bit of decline. Um, the prestige and romance of winning the FA Cup is secondary to winning the Premier League or getting a good position in the Premier League or winning the European Champions League. So there's absolutely no doubt that the interest in the FA Cup is on the decline. I remember going to see an FA Cup match at Southampton uh, during the week. It was one of the few times that I get the opportunity to go and see them. And uh, there was hardly anybody there. I felt right full. <laughs> I mean, I'd sort of forgotten um, what relevance, what little relevance is put on to the FA Cup. And this is where shocks are generated because Premier League teams playing away um, will generally not be, you know, go, go, they go for that 50-50 tackle, probably will pull out because do they want to injure themselves for the rest of the season? Uh, will the manager field a strong side um, because he won't want to put his star players out? And yet the non-league teams and the lower league teams will think, well, this is an opportunity on our home ground where we know the conditions and the pitch probably isn't the greatest pitch in the world and so on and so forth to actually go out and do something uh, memorable for the club and get a bit more money. Because for the lower league teams or the non-league teams, you know, it can be quite a big uh, payout. But when you look uh, at uh, other teams, um, it's not enormous. So... There's, uh, I looked at the price figures, and you have to correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think it was 67,000 was what you get for getting uh, through the uh, uh, to the third round, or past the third round, rather. And I think the prize money for the cup, for winning the cup, was about 1.8 million. So that's just like a good player's wages for a few weeks, really, when you're talking Premier League status. And therefore, they place much less emphasis on it. And the FA Cup is dying in, in my eyes. Um, simply because the large clubs don't pay much attention to it. But, you know, it's still a good competition for teams that are a little bit uh, lower and perhaps outside of the Premier League. Uh, but for Premier League clubs, the importance is gone. Um, it's not as significant as it used to be. Obviously, it's nice to win the FA Cup. But managers, players will put less emphasis on it. And particularly managers, um, when uh, there are issues such as, you know, they have a small squad or perhaps, you know, several of their players are injured, um, or they've got an important match coming up and so on and so forth, won't want to risk it and will probably field um, a second string in the earlier rounds if they forget. And so that's where shocks come from. That's where you can often look for it. Also, teams that are low on confidence. If you've got teams that are high on confidence, then, you know, that just sort of spills over and they can generally perform quite well. But if you have teams that are lower on confidence, then they can be quite nervous and actually going to... Um, a reasonably strong or, a, a, you know, say a championship club or maybe a, a League One club that's high on confidence could be a bit of an issue for them because that team will be totally up for it and will try and get a win or, you know, perform miracles. Um, and very often they do. And the Premier League team that's struggling low on confidence probably won't be up for it. And, you know, the opportunity to slip up is very much there. The actual competition itself, uh, when you look at the FA Cup overall, has generally been dominated by Premier League clubs. I've got some stats uh, which I'll put up, but typically when you look at uh, backing all the Premier League clubs in the FA Cup, when you get to the latter stages of the contest, they're nearly always there or thereabouts. You may get one or two stragglers that have uh, lower league teams that have a, an opportunity to get via a fortuitous route to the later stages of a competition, but generally it's completely dominated by Premier League clubs. I'm pretty sure I remember that, um, you know, if you if you dutched all Premier League clubs, you would have made money by the latter stages of the tournament for many years now, if I remember correctly. I've got all of the stats on it. Maybe I'll do a blog post. Or if there is interest, I can do a specific video on that. But yeah, third round of the FA Cup is a good opportunity to look for a shock, as they tend to prefer to call it. And that will tend to occur between um, a team that isn't fielding its strongest side is probably a little bit lower on confidence versus a team that can field uh, a stronger side from a lower division 
and is full of confidence, that's where they tend to occur. And that's what I'll be looking out for in the third round of the FA Cup. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial.